Howdy, y'all. Coach Logan here from East Texas, also. Top of the morning. Just kidding. Don't do that. <coughs> Jokes, just. Okay, so this is going to be PB Fit Salt Sucralose. This is going to be a high protein peanut butter. So I'm going to show you the best ways to do it, the ratios we can kind of mix it with, the portability idea of it, being able to put it in a Ziploc, adding your water. So without further ado, let's kind of get into the mixing, the ratios, and all the things you'll need to to make your best ratios and the variabilities that you can put into your own, either PB Fit, PB2, or other powdered peanut butters that are out there. Let's do it. Scale, PB Fit, salt, Sucralose, anyone will do. Sucralose, just make sure that does have calories in it. So please be aware that there are calories there. Make sure to log those in accordingly. So we have our little special bowl here. So bowl on the scale, and then we set it to zero. So once it's zero, let's, we're gonna do about 50 grams here. So go start pouring, take about 50 grams. So, what the so, 50 grams PB fit. So, serving here is 16 grams. 16 grams times three, simple math, 48 ish grams. So, roughly 24 grams of protein. For salt, do about one gram. Well, so what that looks like in the hand. About that let's see one gram and then grab your sucralose here we're gonna do 10 grams it's gonna look like a lot great so here comes the variability this is where you can kind of mix things up for yourself and do what you need to to either get a thicker peanut butter, more chunky, if you will, or a little bit more creamier. So it's been because it's fun. So what you do is just add a little bit at a time. This is where you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to overdo it. What you can do, get that out of here. That was about 40 grams. Just start to whirl it around in there. And then, using your kid spoon, just slowly mix it. Start in the middle, get to where it starts to thicken up. Then once it thickens up, make sure that you get all the sides touched there. And we'll add just a smidge more water there. Don't flood your peanut butter. No flash flood warnings on your peanut butter. And let's see where we're at. Looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. So slowly adding in, make sure you just give it some extra stirs there. You want to get that moisture spread throughout the entire peanut butter. So for me, this is actually a pretty good thickness where I'll have it for this evening and I'll put it in the fridge and save it for later. Or I can eat it now and it'd be great. So it's really that easy. That's the peanut butter. That's the setup. So we had 50 grams, 10 grams, one gram. Portability, being able to adjust that as you need. Calorically, that comes out to about 200 calories. Um, I'll total it out and put it on the screen there. About 200 calories, ample amount of protein, and it's just a great substitute instead of actually using peanut butter, and then if you still like crunchy or want to get some type of nuts in there, you can easily add those on there. So I just want to know why. But peanut butter and jelly, sugar-free jelly, bonus tip. There are many ones out there. Um, here's one I found at HEB, an apricot jam, no sugar added. That's about five calories there. Source of sweetener is stevia extract and erythritol. So 
You can have that in there as well. It makes a great peanut butter and jelly, very low calorie. And then double the bonus tip. If you shop at Aldi or Walmart, they have keto brand breads. Here's one from Aldi. If you look at the back here, four grams of protein per slice. So you can see how it's, it's pretty easy if you have a couple of these to get to 30, 40, 50, even 60 grams of protein. Here's some keto buns. Same idea, 19, 70 calories. Oh, sorry, nine grams of protein, 70 calories. So, bread choices. Must be jelly, because jam don't shake like that. Or jam, the jelly don't shake like that. Jam choices, but it all starts with either PB Fit or PB2. PB Fit, PB2, it's a very good low calorie thing. I've been crushing these as I diet and it's great to throw into a normal nutrition. Um, go crazy, let me know if there's any ways that you mix in this peanut butter, see if there's any other ways to do it. One thing with the salt, add it to taste. That's what I figured out what works best for me when the salt ratio that I like, sugar or sucralose in this instance, add it to taste. That's what I figured out works best for me in this instance as well. And then load it up, man. Keto buns, all that good stuff. Add a little bit of chocolate fair life instead of water for your milk. Makes it peanut butter chocolate. Um, I'm gonna contemplate chocolate covered pretzels of some sort and dip it in there. Works very well. So let me know what questions you guys have in the comments below. If you have any other recipes or any ingredient ideas to make that a little bit better, let me know in there as well. And this has been Coach Logan, so not the uh, country hat wearing one, but the normal one you all are used to with the no Texas accent. Until next time.